CTV News. Live from downtown Winnipeg with Gord LeClaire and Marilee Caruso. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. More calls tonight to increase security on buses after a woman suffered broken teeth and a black eye. The woman says she was punched by a passenger Saturday night and is now calling for more security on board. CTV's Jeff Keel joins us now live on Portage Avenue, close to where that attack took place. So Jeff, explain to us what happened in this case. Well, Walker stepped up to help a woman she says was being harassed by a drunk passenger. Soon after that, another man punched Walker so hard it exposed a nerve in one of her teeth. A black eye, seven shattered teeth. The aftermath of an attack on board a Winnipeg bus. I could feel the teeth in my mouth, like the chips of teeth in my mouth immediately. Aisha Walker says she got on a crowded bus on Portage Avenue at Polo Park Saturday evening. Down the road, she intervened to help a woman she says was being sexually harassed by an intoxicated passenger. Following a heated exchange, another man punched Walker as he was getting off the bus. He struck me in the face with all his might. The damage so serious you can see right through to the nerve in her tooth. Winnipeg police are searching for a suspect and reviewing video from the bus. It's a very serious assault. It's, it's tragic when something like that happens. Two days later, Walker says she'd like to see security people on board to prevent assaults. Like an actual person who's on the bus who's trained to maybe diffuse situations like this. After the stabbing death of bus driver Irvin Frazier in February, a report this past spring recommended several changes, including the addition of five security employees at an estimated cost of up to $710,000. I've been advocating very, very, very strongly for additional funds for a uh, enhanced transit present on bus, presence on buses. Additional money for transit security could be contained in the 2018 budget, set to be tabled in a matter of weeks. How that is spent will be decided by a transit advisory committee created following the February tragedy. Well, first we need to have the funds authorized. Then the transit advisory committee will be meeting in early December again, and we're going to discuss what form that security should take. In the past, Winnipeg's bus union has called for a transit police force to be created. Aisha Walker says the more security, the better. Ideally, I'd like to have someone on every bus, but I know that's just not realistic. A walker says she'd also like to see more buses on Winnipeg roads because she said the bus she was on was so crowded, the bus driver likely couldn't see what was going on. And for the record, this hasn't deterred Walker from taking the bus she was back on board today. Jeff, what about Walker's teeth? Will she be able to get them fixed? You know, there, there's a good news story at the end of all of this. She was worried that she wouldn't be able to pay to have them fixed, but she has since learned that victim services will cover the cost of the repairs. And we can tell you, a dentist also came forward who wants to remain anonymous, offering to help her if she couldn't pay for her repairs. Well, that is good news. All right, thanks for this, Jeff.